We've just disembarked the amazing World Europa, which holds a whopping 6,314 passengers. We were fortunate enough to have a look at three different types of room on board the ship, which make up 75% of all of the cabins. So we are going to look at a budget room, which is the interior. We're going to look at the middle class room of having a balcony, and we're going to look at the luxury options of the yacht club. There are also 22 solo cabins available on this ship. First up, let's go and take a look at the interior. These are 161 square feet. There are 818 of them on board World Europa. There is a lovely queen size bed. This room can sleep four and the Pullman beds come down from the ceiling. There are USB ports either side of the bed. As you can see, there is a kettle in this room. This does not come standard on a European cruise, only on cruises going out of the UK. There is a small fridge just below here, which is stocked. This is not free. Um, and if you take anything out of it, you just need to replace it. And if you want everything taken out, you can ask the steward to do this and you can pop your own drinks in there. Temperature controlled. One thing I will say about these rooms is everything flashes and lights up. So when it's pitch black, it's actually not because there are lots of little lights all around the room. A really nice size bathroom with all the amenities that you need and a nice size shower there as well. There is also a drying hook that you can pull across the shower to dry off your swimwear. Now, I found this interior cabin had really good storage space, actually. Um, it seemed to have more storage space than the balcony cabin that we had. As you can see, there are two full-sized wardrobes. You've got loads of shelves there and loads of drawer space to pop things in. Also, a good amount of floor space between the bed and then heading into the bathroom. And I would just like to say thank you to Fraser at Sea for letting us take a look in his interior room. Also available on a budget option are the Ocean View and the Infinity Ocean View, which are slightly larger. If you're liking all of our content, please give it a like and a subscribe. We have got loads of cruise content coming your way very, very shortly and plenty more in this World Europa series. Now let's head back on board to Tom and a balcony cabin tour. This is World Europa standard balcony. We got upgraded, we bid for this. We originally paid just over £400 for four nights for a family of four and we bid £200 for four nights and we got upgraded from an ocean view to this, a balcony cabin. So let's take a look. First of all, Let's head to the front and let's head to the bathroom. As you can see, standard size bathroom and my shower, which I have just used. Controls, temperature controls, so easily you can, uh, we've got it off at the moment. Um, this little button here you can make up the room so once you go out in the morning for breakfast etc if you don't want to be disturbed you press this one room key for electricity and obviously your main lights a mirror for making yourself look beautiful before you head out and over to the side of the beds this is i would say king size bed rachel yeah yep king size bed and you have a usb point here and touch lights 
if they work. Let's take a look at the cupboard. So loads of cupboard space. All the shelves here. Big tip, you ought to know, 4B's favourite is the packing cubes. Really useful for a four night cruise um, because we don't really want to get everything out because we'll soon be packing up. And then, unlike our last cruise we went on Iona, there's some great drawer space. So there we go, one, two, three drawers. And just to the side, we do have loads of hanging space. So these are the towels, you'll find these in the room on the bed. And these are for the pools, the water park, etc. And you can swap them out each day, um, but make sure there's four towels at the end of the cruise, otherwise you'll be charged. TV, we're just about to do the drill. We have watched this video, so uh, don't worry. We're fully clued up. And then there's the information. This was all on the bed when we first arrived. The information for today, kids club, etc. Speciality dining. A little tip, we've just been down to book. Once you're on board, make sure you book your speciality restaurants. We've got four, the package of four, and we've already booked in, but there wasn't many spaces. So do that as soon as you get on. So there we go. Phone, if you want a phone reception, etc. Light switch, and there's more USB points here. And there's some drawers and plenty of room there. And if you want to, you can access the safe. We're not, there we go. So I would say maybe a laptop, phones, some jewellery that Alice has got. Put your pearls in there and another bottom drawer there. Stool and place where you can make yourself look beautiful. I'll be putting some makeup on later. Yes, sexy, that is the word, Ernest. Very nice. Uh, more, look, more shelving. We've got our toothbrush getting ready. And then one thing you will notice if there's any British guests watching, you do not get a kettle. We haven't asked, so sometimes you can ask, and if they've got a spare, they will put it in your room. But as standard, you will not get a kettle. So you need to go and get your tea. But there was British tea on board, but it was only in one place in the buffet. Um, so no European ones you don't get. And here is the fridge. Another word of warning, do not take those things out. You will be charged. So, and if you're on the package, if you take something out, you need to replace it by the night before, otherwise you will be charged. So just be warned, it is not included. But you can put other stuff in there as well. So there we go, that's a pretty standard desk, pretty standard thing there. And here we have two models modeling this lovely bunk bed there. There we go, we've got a handsome boy and a handsome young lady. Handsome. It's a very deep, what would you say? It was a very deep um, bed down there. Alice reckons it's quite small, so. Um, but you've always known who's on top, so I think actually it's a bit better. Yeah, but this is, this is a real deep one. It's very, um, very nice. So this is a standard balcony and this is what this will be laid out. Now, when we were on P&O, this was put out at night and it came down from the roof and the sofa was changed. MSC, they tend to have this up the whole time. I imagine you could ask me to put it, but it stays up the whole time, which we're absolutely fine with. That's great. So this is what it's like set up for a four. Obviously, it would only be the bottom if it was a three, but on MSC, it seems to stay up the whole time. So that is the inside of the cabin. I'd just like to show one last thing. Well, please, kids. Rachel, head to Genoa. also get a balcony cabin on the Aurora package. If you would like to know more about the packages which are available on MSC, take a look at the link here and we will tell you all about the different packages available. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter at Cruising with the 4Bs. Now if you like a little bit of the finer things in life, let's head back on board for the luxury suite that is Yacht Club. The ship within a ship that is the Yacht Club. Just look how quiet it is up here compared to a lot of other places on the ship. So Yacht Club is the only place on World Europa that has the normal Schwarzky staircases that you get on board plenty of the other MSC ships. Is that a saving option? I'm not sure. 
here we are inside this beautiful cabin so this is a yacht club deluxe suite there are 130 of these on board and there are seven interior yacht club cabins you get 24 hour butler service drinks package wi-fi for two devices king size beds priority check-in your luggage is taken from you before boarding and disembarking welcome package access to the spa and as I said, lots of other perks. You get an exclusive pool area, restaurant, lounge, grill, top sail lounge. The list is endless. As you can see, a very large room. This is 269 feet by 53 square feet. So this has been made up for four people. The sofa bed over in the corner. The butler can put this away in the morning and then put it back down during turn down service however this one was left out through the day there's hudson there and the msc teddy and of course bunny so thank you to cruise boys for letting us take a look around your suite coffee maker available also beer wine soft drinks all available within the room a safe in the drawer don't really understand the concept of that personally, just waste a drawer if you ask me. Also a fully stocked fridge with soft drinks, beer, wine, whatever you fancy. And you get the nice glasses and all of your bits for your tea and your coffee. So this cabin, well, this suite um, was towards the front of the ship. So beautiful sail away destination. Um, and it was larger due to the fact that it was at the front. So once again, thank you to Cruise Boys. That has been a yacht club cabin. One day, one day, one day. So thanks for watching our cabin tours. If you have enjoyed this content, please give it a like, give it a subscribe. If you have any questions or you've got any comments that you want to mention about anything related to this video, pop it in the comments below. And if you would like to see a little bit more MSC, here is a ship tour of MSC Seaview. And for now, all that I can say is happy cruising.